So we're starting out the list hot. We got the uh, guy with the 2 out of 10 mustache. The bulldog obviously didn't want to be in the photo. And uh, this fake smiling black baby. Huh? She's happy to be there. You know, this is the guy that tries to be way too funny. He's sending this out on Christmas and his parents are just disappointed. Like, Keith, you couldn't have got a regular family, son. Next up, it seems like we're sticking with the Christmas theme. You got these uh, one, two, three, four, five people who have all morphed themselves into a Christmas tree. I wonder who decides to put the Asian on top as the star. And I do have to applaud them for the effort, but I can't help but feel like there's some real human centipede going on here. Here in this one, you got the grandparents sitting down holding all the grandchildren, all four of them. Okay, that's a bunch in, in a white family. And uh, they're looking up at the kids like, hey, you know, this is kind of how it all started. You guys kiss and then you f and then we have all these kids. We're taking care of them like eight days a week already. You know, we're not f***ing Mexicans. Stop popping these things out. This is one of my favorites on the list. It kind of just screams, yes, we were gay in the 90s and no, we didn't give a f by the way, here's our cat, but we treat it more like a third roommate. Next up, we have mom just hanging out with all the boys, okay? It was supposed to be a boys trip, and now we're all just humping dad, okay? It's a big old hump fest. You know, Corey's humping dad, Frank's humping Corey, mom's humping Frank. And then you got James on the top just being very inappropriate with his own mother. There should never be this much denim in a photo ever. Doesn't this photo just scream, sweet home Alabama? Now I'm like grabbing my own daughter's tit for the photo and pretend like I'm gonna chop it off with an axe. This woman looks like that one character from that show Chowder. Family photo time, Franklin. But why is daddy naked in the background? Shut the f*** up. Okay, we don't want to make him mad tonight, kids. Come on, let me just be naked in the background. Just take the photo, okay? Three, two, one. <laughs> psycho you know i guess the clothing is just gonna keep coming off today first off let me just say i don't know what the fuck's going on in this photo why does this simultaneously look like they're at the beach and at a wedding at the same time and hey dude you can't be rocking the european speedo indoors all right it's just not okay you're too old for this shit. Actually, I think anyone that's over the age of seven should never put one of these things on. So I guess this picture proves that giving birth can actually be fun the whole family can enjoy. They all got in this inflatable couch and uh, decided it was time to take a jacuzzi bath in mom's blood. And hey kid, your eyes look like they're going through a divorce. There's actually another one of my favorites on the list. Okay, you got sexy grandma who somehow birthed these two very young children. Okay, I would think that was impossible at her age. And uh, she's married to this IT god. Okay, he's the young fat Steve Jobs. He's the young visionary in the building. This guy proves that it was never too early to rock the Daisy Dukes. And they're not just for chicks. Looks like two cousins going to prom together. Okay, she was like, Mom, I told you I didn't want to go. And she's like, your cousin Ben, he's never been. Ben's 25. Mom, Ben's 25. I just had to include this one because I found this on my search. This woman's face just screams, yes, I'll bake you cookies. But also shoot your head off with the 12 gauge if you try to come into my house. Ethan, get out of the way. I'm trying to pose. Bill, you haven't seen your son in two weeks. All he wants to do is be in the photo and you're making him sad. All you want to do is spend your time at this stupid gym. You're not on a Schwarzenegger, Bill. First of all, this just looks like a really bad group of little kids. I mean, sometimes you just see that little posse of kids running around with some poor, distraught mother. And you think, oh my god, no one should have that life. And they obviously beat the shit out of Santa. Okay, there's really no other explanation. I think this is the one who gave him the one-two Mayweather combo. This guy far in his face and this other one bit him on his hand i kind of like this one it kind of is giving me taken vibes okay liam neeson over here he's saying hey if you come near my wife if you come near my soon to be born baby oh my god look she's about to pop i'm gonna be the one to pop in you in the head listen i thought we all kind of got the memo here that we were gonna be wearing the same thing what the f are you doing roger oh we're finally taking our trip to the golden gate bridge everything is good everything is amazing besides the naked guy in the background nothing screams san francisco more than naked guy in the background of the golden gate bridge be honest with me this could be a really cool album cover late to work is what i would call it okay arnie i'm just gonna stand here you go ahead and take the picture of me i'm real proud of you know my table set i'm real proud of my fine china and i set the table so nice and yes i just want a picture taken of myself in this one the choke is looking a little too realistic to me you know he couldn't wait to get his hands around this certain kid's neck the sister's looking around like is anyone gonna save us from this maniac this other guy is losing brain cells by the second okay the oxygen to his brain has been cut off here we got the redhead stepchild who never got the love that he rightfully deserved he's like if you guys can't love me i'm gonna set you up for this picture and i'm gonna electrocute you all gonna really light up your christmas guys i got a great present for you this year listen if god forbid your significant 
significant other passes. This is not how you need to handle and grieve their death. This is just making everyone so uncomfortable, okay? They're like, oh my god, this guy's never gonna recover. He's just sick in the head doing his little photo shoots. It's either that or you're fishing for another woman and you're hoping that the dead wife card is gonna work nicely. This is just another weird one, not really for the dad, but really just for these two brothers. And I don't care how close you are, I don't care if you're related, you never want to have your genitals up against the back of another man's, okay? Just an evil set of little girls is all I see. These two could have easily replaced the twins from The Shining. This one's just throwing the middle finger. The other kid is just looking on with amazement. You know these two went on to ruin a lot of people's lives. A menace to society, that's all I see. I gotta say that I do find this one a little bit cute, but honestly, the position there, my dude, is just a little bit weird, okay? I'm pretty sure Eeyore can stand. There was really no problem with you probably just both carrying the little Tigger baby and just holding him in the middle, okay? First of all, you got no back arch. You're not doing very good in that department, sir. The wife is looking like, why the f did I let him do this, okay? This is some pre-furry coming out sh**. This guy really decided to take his love to another level when he decided to get these three life-size face tattoos drawn all over his back. And to be honest, they look f terrible. You realize that all the people in these photos are gonna age, right? Especially a little girl. You got her tattooed on your body during an awkward stage in her life. You know, that wasn't a very good decision. But hey, I can't fault a man that loves his family. Just wash your back next time. It looks really dirty. Michael, what did we tell you about kissing Grandma Irene? You know, it's really not nice to take advantage of Grandma's Alzheimer's. Uh, nothing like bonding with my sons, especially my newborn. Just gonna read them a book tonight. Is it, uh, Goodnight Moon? The Hungry Caterpillar? Oh, nope, it's one of my classic playboys. I read it for the character profile, son. I read it for the character profiles. Stacy in Michigan, she likes missionary and tennis. Who would have thought? Right after their weekly trip to Hot Topic, they went and took a picture with Santa. All we want for Christmas is razors. I want hair dye. I want my cousin Eric dead. Let's get it. This picture just screams 80s drug lord. You got the coked out white woman. You got guns. You got blades. You got guns with blades. And you got a bird just for no f reason sitting on your fingers now that's some g sh you know you really had to f up pretty bad back in the day when someone had to go ahead and cut you out of the photo i mean look at the precision of the cut this was an act of extreme anger it's either that or this b just hasn't been unlocked yet for one everyone in this photo has terrible hair why are you choking your own sister son and why is the dad dressed like he's some creepy pastor the sister's looking in like you fool it was supposed to be me now i gotta go all itachi on you guys this is when mom and dad had one too many mimosas at breakfast and now they're trying to get down and dirty during the family photo shoot gotta respect the hustle sir first of all why the f was this printed in gq magazine yet another dog that looks like he doesn't want to be in this family photo and why is this guy just giving it to the dog that's not right terrible haircut you look like the lady from monsters inc you know there's something quite like going down to the 7-eleven on a sunday morning it's the lord's day it's a day to spend with the family and grabbing a pack of marlboro reds sticking one in all my kids mouth i can't forget my wife and just chiefing that down in the name of jesus christ you know i know this one's supposed to be cute it's supposed to be like as the father i'm always watching over you but does this guy not remind anyone else of the sicko from lovely bones so there's just a couple of people from the 80s who it appears had adopted a couple of children this girl looks like she's being kept in a basement blink twice if you're not okay and what's up with the totally out of place picture in the background was everything just more sexual back in the 80s there's absolutely no reason on earth that a photo like this should exist no one wanted to see a chest hair man this is just sickening if the mom wants to do this with the kids when they're still young okay that's not really weird but there was no reason to get the grizzly bear involved okay so i think we can obviously tell who the black sheep of the family is little billy you know he's a vegetarian Corey's going to law school this summer we're so proud of him there's absolutely no way that these three kids weren't bullied throughout school wait is that is that the situation this looks like just about the most uncomfortable family photo shoot of all time very itchy very itchy this little girl is gonna look exactly like her mother when she grows up listen i think it's safe to say at this point that dogs have no place in the family photo shoot so guys real quick before the video ends i just wanted to say that i hope you enjoy this new content this new little format that i'm going to be doing here on the jamari channel now where i'm going to be reviewing all these little funny pictures of just different topics like another one i might do in the future is bad tattoos so let me know what topic you want me to cover down below let me know which one of these awkward family pictures was your favorite let me know which one made you cringe the hardest as always i want to thank you guys for dropping likes for sharing the video with your friends for subscribing as you guys know there's other people out here who need to get roasted it's been your boy the tan superman i'm out peace